So open rhinoplasty is one of the techniques that we utilize to perform a rhinoplasty procedure. Rhinoplasty, of course, being a nasal reshaping procedure. Um, open rhinoplasty versus closed rhinoplasty is the big difference is, is that open rhinoplasty utilizes a scar at the base of the nose. And this allows us as surgeons to elevate the skin and see directly what we want to do with the nasal tip and, of course, the bridge of the nose. You can also perform rhinoplasty closed where all the incisions are done on the inside of the nose. Now, the one difference being that incision on the outside, calling it an open rhinoplasty, is not a reason to make a decision on which technique is more correct. Both techniques can be utilized, but it really depends on the goals of the patient and also the maneuvers that the surgeon needs to match those goals. I think it's really important to connect with your surgeon, discuss open and closed rhinoplasty, find a surgeon who does both, and then discuss what goals are necessary to make the patient happy, and then you come to a final agreement of what is necessary to get the best result. So the right candidate for an open rhinoplasty procedure can actually be all rhinoplasty procedures. All rhinoplasties can be done open and in essence makes it easier technically for the surgeon to get the result that you want. Specific that's important to open rhinoplasty would be complicated nasal tips, a revision surgery that has a lot of scarring, a reconstructive surgery, and also any type of fancy maneuvers that are necessary to make sure that we get the tip that you want during a primary rhinoplasty. So in essence, in summary, any patient is a candidate for an open rhinoplasty if choosing to move forward. There are certain noses that are actually okay to do closed, and that is more important to answer. If you have a rhinoplasty that you wanna perform that does not have to involve much of complicated tip work or minimal tip work, a closed rhinoplasty is actually okay versus an open. So rhinoplasty procedures are typically between two hours to four hours for a primary rhinoplasty, and it can be up to four to six hours if it's a reconstruction. The most important parts of the post-operative care for rhinoplasty is to follow up with your surgeon. Each surgeon has different techniques of how they want to manage the care after surgery. Most importantly is management of the wounds uh, with an antibiotic ointment as well as a scar gel. Following up with your surgeon at the specified appointments to make sure the stitches are removed on time, the casts are removed, and to make sure that the healing process begins. <laughs>